Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 26th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day The Gift When asked, are there any conditions? We joyfully reply, no, not a one. When skeptically he comes back saying, but certainly there must be things that I have to do and believe, we quickly answer, in Alcoholics Anonymous there are no musts. Cynically, perhaps, then he inquires, what is all this going to cost me? We are able to laugh and say, nothing at all, there are no fees and dues. Thus, in a brief hour, is our friend disarmed of his suspicion and rebellion. Alcoholics Anonymous is saying, We have something precious to give, if only you will receive. That is all. Bill W., February 1948. The Language of the Heart, page 79. Thought to Consider. Sobriety is a gift, not a right. AA Acronyms. Gifts. Getting it from the steps. Just for today. Stories from The Three Legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. We had not gone much farther with the text of the book when it was evident that something more was needed. There would have to be a story or case history section. We would have to produce evidence in the form of living proof, written testimonials of our membership itself. It was felt also that the story section could identify us with the distant reader in a way that the text itself might not. At this point, Dr. Bob and the Akronites played a vital role. The Akron group was the larger and had more case history material, and the means of putting it into story form now appeared. Two years earlier, a former newspaperman, Jim S., had been lifted off Skid Row and nursed back to health and sobriety. Jim and Dr. Bob went after all the Akronites who had substantial sobriety records for testimonial material. In most cases, Jim interviewed the prospects and wrote their stories for them. Dr. Bob wrote his own. By January, the Akronites had produced 18 fine stories. Alcoholics Anonymous Comes of Age Page 164. Daily Reflections. The Worth of Sobriety. Every AA group ought to be fully self-supporting, declining outside contributions. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions. Page 160. When I go shopping, I look at the prices, and if I need what I see, buy it and pay. Now that I am supposed to be in rehabilitation, I have to straighten out my life. When I go to a meeting, I take a coffee with sugar and milk, sometimes more than one, but at the collection time, I am either too busy to take money out of my purse, or I do not have enough, but I am there because I need this meeting. I heard someone suggest dropping the price of a beer into the basket, and I thought, that's too much. I almost never give one dollar. Like many others, I rely on the more generous members to finance the fellowship. I forget that it takes money to rent the meeting room, buy my milk, sugar, and cups. I will pay, without hesitation, 90 cents for a cup of coffee at the restaurant after the meeting. I always have money for that. So how much is my sobriety and my inner peace worth? As Bill sees it, the fellowship's future. It seems proved that AA can stand on its own feet anywhere and under any conditions, It has outgrown any dependence it might once have had upon the personalities or efforts of a few of the older members like me. New, able, and vigorous people keep coming to the surface, turning up where they are needed. Besides, AA has reached enough spiritual maturity to know that its final dependence is upon God. That's from a letter, 1940. Clearly, our first duty to AA's future is to maintain in full strength what we now have. 
Only the most vigilant caretaking can assure this. Never should we be lulled into complacent self-satisfaction by the wide acclaim and success that are everywhere ours. This is the subtle temptation which could render us stagnant today, perchance disintegrate us tomorrow. We have always rallied to meet and transcend failure and crisis. Problems have been our stimulants. How well, though, shall we be able to meet the problems of success? AA Today, page 106. Big Book Quote We think it no concern of ours what religious bodies our members identify themselves with as individuals. This should be an entirely personal affair, with each one decides for himself in the light of past associations or his present choice. Alcoholics Anonymous, There is a Solution, page 28. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. When we come to the end of our lives on earth, we will take no material thing with us. We will not take one cent in our cold, dead hands. The only things that we may take are the things we have given away. If we have helped others, we may take that with us. If we have given of our time and money for the good of AA, we may take that with us. Looking back over our lives, what are we proud of? Not what we have gained for ourselves, but what few good deeds we have done. Those are the things that really matter in the long run. What will I take with me when I go? Meditation for the day. Hallowed be thy name. What does that mean to us? Here, name is used in the sense of spirit. The words mean praise to God for his spirit in the world, making us better. We should be especially grateful for God's spirit, which gives us the strength to overcome all that is base in our lives. His spirit is powerful. It can help us to live a conquering, abundant life. So we praise and thank him for his spirit in our lives and in the lives of others. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be grateful for God's spirit in me. I pray that I may try to live in accordance with it. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Sarah, and I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.